Shib. What are you talking about, Nick? You look fine. You barely have. Akil, how does he know? How do you know Proyetta? You're. That was an interesting spelling of Akil. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? I appreciate that though. You know, sometimes it's a mind game. Hey, he's playing me, dude. Oh shit, I haven't shared the uh, the literature with him yet. Hold on, give me a second. What? I'm gonna give him a fan I don't know. How do you spell it? LOL? Wanna tell him? <laughs> Just keep guessing, man. There's a Q. There's a Q. There's a Q, indeed. God, fuck. I don't blame you. I spelled it bad first. Wait. Too, when I thought about it. I just spelled it the first time. I Like he did. Okay. With the K. I can't let gotta, It's like the sound it out thing, dude. Oh, we should have uh, changed all this stuff. So this tournament, wait, are we in set? Oh, shit. So we got some, some. This outstanding Ices versus Falco play here. Oh yeah, this is this is a match. This, this is fine. Twitch.tv slash ninja. You the second time you got it with the E at, without the E at the end, right? Yeah. That's exactly. Um, Should we click? No. But I respect the uh, I respect the advertisement. Unfortunately, that is not really have a place in our stream, so you know, I'm sure this ninja guy's a great guy, but I don't know if he has much to do with the amazing melee we're watching right now as Sopo tries to take on Norian's Falco, hot off a of victory, a grueling victory, so to speak. The hands are definitely a aching, but you know, you just gotta keep pushing. <laughs> All right, um, that's against terms of service. We're gonna have to ban you from the chat. No, don't. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking around, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Andre's in typical Norian fashion, just decides that he wants to win and he takes the lead when he was down in a deficit. And now we're looking at a stock lead, but you know, and a grab is a stock. Never forget. I apologize for not uh, commentating. I just kind of spaced out for some reason. These two children, you know, they, they pack a big punch. So, or in fact, a 200 BPM punch that can be activated from any grab. But Zach here isn't wobbling, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? True. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, this keyboard is horrible. Onyx bringing it back with the Eskimo children.
that stream loves and cherishes. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait. I know she's you're looking at the stream, but there's a Mario V Ness on the setup. Just. I mean, that's that's definitely a friendly. Oh God, Limp Line playing Ness, Bumblebee Ness. Anyways, back to the match. Yoshi's definitely the counter pick for Norian here. Wants to get down and dirty with these ICs, kill mana at low percent, and giving just... him no space to function. But he dies anyway. But the Blizzard and the Down Smash connect like peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> and we're looking at one stock lead for Onyx. And Nana just gets sent all the way home. What a great oh, F-Smash yeah. telling Nana, hey, this ain't for kids. This is a real man's game. Back out of here. As he eliminates one and two. Both kids gone from the scene. Kicking as both they, kids out. As the stork drops two new Eskimo children from the sky <laughs> to battle this bird again. What cruel god would pit Eskimo children against this foul bird? Excuse me, this... And the illusion cancels into the air dodge. This man isn't even realizing that he's sick, but he's just playing like it. Oh, and Nana is Nana, nah, Nana's not in space Nana yet. Nana is living. Nana holds onto that ledge like a baby and holds onto that pacifier. Nana's fire. blasted off in space. She is going to join Zeus and the gods as she gets sent up. And Popo gets sent flying. And now we're back to the dynamic duo. Shy guys come by to pay their respects as this guy just gets comboed into oblivion and just dies. I'm tearing up just thinking about the sacrifices made by these Eskimo children. To fight Nana, this bird. Nana really, really, really feeling herself right now. Yeah. Drops the taunt to say, hey. Bring it on. We are back in this game. And. Ready for more. That is illegal. What? Oh, what a great angle. Wait, what's illegal? Not wobbling but wobbling at the same time, a.k.a. the handoff. Uh, uh, okay. Nana gets sent flying back. Baka says back off, got to be this tall to ride in Yoshi's story. But Popo says, I ain't dying today. I am living until I get jabbed. Oh, what a great get up attack. And another pair of basketball children. And they come back down. I mean, there have been so many of these guys. It's just dreadful, this, man. This one, this one Falco, or four, four birds versus eight children, you know? You have to place your bets in the chat. You know, you'd think that being very evolved would be better at this. But I guess... That great tech? Even with hammers and coats, we can't beat the birds. Oh, shit. Norian making a comeback. Denarian getting Popo off guard. Again, dude. This man's going to the sky, to the heavens with this. And another. Oh, but you know, third time's the charm for the for the read. He just doesn't get much out of it. Oh, the guy got a blue! And Norian takes him. And Norian snags that game. You did. I saw that. <laughs> and we played by the every Eskimo every children. waking moment of that. We really enjoyed it. Despite it not being the last ga a possible last game for our final destination. Yeah, we heard. We heard. We heard. Oh, you're gonna update yourself, you bastard. Yeah, you can update it. Let him do it. Uh, Falco getting thrown around. Smart recovery by Nori in there. Throwing some noodles with his gun. You know, you know the scene from Step Brothers when they make the uh, they make they make them they pass by the school and they make them lick the poop, the dog poop. 
I haven't seen Step Brothers, but that's... Oh yeah, well that just reminds me like, it just reminds me of Ice Climbers. Because <laughs> it's like two grown men just getting pounded on by like a bunch of little kids as they just like force them to do what they want. Oh my god. Because they have strength in numbers. That's and that's, that's just that's just how I view every matchup versus Ice Climbers. Is <laughs> they're gonna want, they're gonna want you to They're gonna want you to lick the dog poop, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have to prevail. You're gonna have to tough it up. You're gonna have to go for the weak kid first. Jesus Christ, is this one of the flies? No, but it's melee. Which is even worse. Also, our hero Norian. Not doing as high as we want. But we of high faith believe. Ye of little faith, please hold on to what faith you may or may not have, because we are, in fact, popping off. Oh shit, this is Icy's best thing. Yeah, this is definitely one of the. The prime counter pick for any Ices player. Unless you're playing against uh, Joey Puff, because the Mango Guide tells me uh, something different. I'm sorry, I'm a little paralyzed here. I just heard the name Dan Schneider whispered amongst the crowd. That's against Terms of Service now. Yeah. That's gotta be. <laughs> can, can we have security pull this Oh, man and out? convincing win. Or Onyx. Thanks. Oh. He's a good guy, isn't he? He's a horrible guy. Dan Schneider supports Burger King foot lettuce. Wait, wait, wait. Nick, listen to me for a second. Dan Schneider, Burger King foot lettuce. Oh no. I have to play on stream next, so you guys can have a backup. No, yeah, yeah, go for it. You guys know Step Brothers, right? You've seen it? No. You haven't seen Step Brothers? No, I'm sorry. Is that the one with Why is that relevant? I'm trying to explain my analogy about Ice Climbers and Step Brothers, and no one understands it. I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. Alright. What are we supposed to do here? Uh, commentate. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna hope everything is set up. Oh, the commentators thing definitely isn't, so, uh, I don't know how to do that. Change the commentary name. Scoreboard. Uh, I lied. Alright, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justin, you press the buttons. Alright, let's let's commentate what we're seeing. Yeah. Alright, so looks like Onyx is Onyx is about to be up three stocks to two. Oh, Andres made it back. Kind of surprised. Wow. It's always the best feeling when Falco just somehow makes it back and you have no idea how it happened. <laughs> he just like teleports onto the stage. <laughs> it's like surprise, <laughs> I'm here. Alright, so there we go, Ooh. killing Nana, and now this is Falco versus one of the worst characters in the game. Oh, but very nice. Going off. Jab reset there. Yeah. Justin, very excited to finish before 11. <laughs> okay, so I kind of wish Norian was camping a little bit harder with lasers, because there's really nothing Popo can do about it, but he wants to go in, he wants to go in. Yeah, it's a, kind of the Falco mentality. If you can't go in, why are we playing this game? That's fair. So... I feel like Norian's... Oh, no. The, the space back airs were really good, but then he kind of just got greedy. Okay, so there's something about that, though, where that's not entirely dumb. If you space forward smash, it is safe on Icy Shield as Falco. Yeah. yeah. So I know what he wants to do. Yeah, I don't think he drifted far enough away. Oh, and that down air wasn't safe, but he's living. He, he needs to take out Nana. He needs to separate them and just get Nana off and just down air her and get rid of her. I think that's, when, when I see people who tell me they have, like, an, a problem with the Ice Climbers matchup, that is my first thing of advice, is always learn how to kill Nana a lot faster. What do you think the best way to do that as with Falco is? So when I play Falco in this matchup, generally you want to try and get in, shine them, and then just shine Nana up and up and up, and then hit her with a shine up B, and she'll die at, like, 30, regardless of the stage, unless it's, like, Dreamland. Or you could do that. That's also sick. <laughs> Doesn't do the classic Falco side B to the other side of the stage. I definitely would have done it. I would have done it too. It's irresistible. I really like that he's he's not fast flying a lot of these down airs. He's crossing them up with them to try and bait a grab. Ooh. Ooh very nice edge guard there. Alright, this is this is doable. Are we gonna see a game five here? Norian just needs to keep his composure, not get grabbed, and get rid of that pink ice climber. Ooh no. Big grab. Oh no. Ooh, that was good SDI too. Ooh. Just killed him. 
three one. All right. Well, ah right. uh, oh. Top mix up Eric is guy, Eric though. is currently playing the game, so I cannot currently play the game. And Justin insulting Eric. And calling so, him the as we can loser. see here, the tournament isn't. So uh, the tournament will not be finishing before 11 o'clock because winner semis and loser semis cannot happen at the same time if Eric wins. <laughs> this is a tough life when kids share controllers. If Nick wins, what is Nick winning? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Why doesn't he just... Do you want to use that now? Oh, oh, yeah, he's doing the wobbling thing. I can hear the air pressure <laughs> from here. I literally hear the... The classic ice climbers just... It's just imprinted in their brains. They can't not wobble. Uh, if I was ice, I'd wobble the shit out of people. Oh, absolutely. Hilarious. When people get mad about wobbling, it's my favorite pastime. You know, it's their fault for getting grabbed. Dude, I spent my first just year of this Nana. game getting wobbled and getting mad about being wobbled. The second I just accepted that it was going to happen, I became so much better at the matchup. Like, when you get wobbled and you laugh about it and you, like, actually mean it, you're just like,